In this video, I wanted to see what would happen if I stacked as many aggressive expansion reduction modifiers as possible. Using idea groups, monuments, the curia and more, I got it to over minus 120%, resulting in one of the weirdest games I've ever played. And the big one, eight aggressive expansion for the entirety of Milan. Well, 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 lads. <laughs> big Chungus is the emperor. I wonder, if I were to break a truce. <laughs> There's just no aggressive expansion downside to breaking a truce. Apparently only a small percentage of you are subscribed to the channel. If you've seen our videos before or enjoy this one, please consider subscribing. For some reason, in return for this, I can legally promise you rewards in the afterlife. And that's not criminal. Right, so before I take you around the nation, uh, there's a reason for the whole Chungus Horde thing. I don't want to do it. There's a guy that's been spamming our Discord in terms of video ideas. And hopefully this will get him to shut up because nothing else will. It's not his idea, I'm just picking the name because I have no imagination and I thought, why not? So let me take you around... <laughs> the Chungus Horde. First things first, I achieve Big Chungus, Little Chungus, and Female Chungus. They're all careful. Minus 10% aggressive expansion impact. That's all good. Ideas wise, we have some nice stuff to do with uh, aggressive expansion impact and improved relations, as well as Province War School cost, unjustified demands, admin efficiency, and then these two I just, I don't know, I pick. Using the uh, new Horde government idea that Leviathan's given us, we've got another 10%, plus a policy that gives us another minus 10%. Uh, we've got from the Age of Discovery, another minus 10%. And uh, fortunately, the Chungus Horde, I mean, you can't see it, but we've got some land in uh, in Bangkok, um, which gives us another minus 10%. So overall, I've actually checked this. This gives us <laughs> minus 100% uh, aggressive expansion impact. And that's not as high as it can go. I'm going to be working to try and get the Curia controller, <laughs> which is why I'm Catholic. Because if I'm the Curia controller, that gives me another, I don't know, minus, minus 20%. Jesus Christ. Also, this is the highest it goes for a custom nation, minus 20%. But Ryukyu has minus 25%. And I don't know why I care about numbers so much. Or how I'm not single. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what the Catholic uh, Tuscan Horde can do. Obviously, we're just going to get a ton of, uh, of cavalry off the bat. Makes sense. Oh, yeah. There's also, I don't know why I didn't show this. Um... Unjustified <laughs> violence demands minus 90%. So it's like we've got a claim on everything. We don't need to claim anything. Uh, I can ally Austria. That'd be great. All right. Should we, uh, should we get going and hope that Leviathan doesn't instantly break my computer? Nice. Oh, we can just get an alliance with the Pope off the bat. Let's, uh, let's do that as soon as we can. Oh, yeah. Also, the adjective is, is cringe. Just so you know what I think of your idea, guy who's kept on suggesting. In a shock turn of events that... <laughs> Definitely didn't have anything to do with it. Uh, we're now the Papal Controller, which puts our aggressive expansion at minus 120%. <laughs> Little Chungus is going to be ahead of our army. <laughs> it's a stupid idea. Why am I laughing? It's not funny. <laughs> I'm really close to actually getting elected Emperor of the HRE. Because my, uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. I want to be, uh, I want to be the Holy Roman Pro. I mean, I got the diplomats for it. Why not? Six aggressive expansion. Six. Full, full annexing these guys. In the HRE. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. I mean, I said I wasn't going to get any more, uh, policies, but diplomats for reputation plus one sounds good to me. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, this Chungus guy, we need him. Wait, 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 I can get an advisor, surely. Yeah, I can. Oh, look at the advisor costs. I mean, we are a horde. <laughs> so, I don't know how this is going to work. I didn't I didn't plan for this. But And yeah, I'm, I'm here for it. Of course I get the Renaissance. <laughs> of course, why not? Why not? Isn't that nice? And I can just embrace it immediately. Wonderful. Gems in Siena. This, ah, oh, ah, oh, after the whole Twitch chat video, the Wheel of Misfortune, like, I deserve this. Well, 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 lads. <laughs> Big Chungus is the emperor. <laughs> I don't know why I'm finding this so funny. Oh, my God. Peak Bologna for one aggressive expansion. Oh, I can, I can always raise it. <laughs> why not? Screw it. Let me give us. Let me get myself some more allies, because I have like the. I can get four, so why not? Why not get more? You know. 
Oh, France would I like my England? Oh, guys, the Ottomans, please. So many friends. <laughs> we just ally the Ottomans. Yeah, right. Ottomans, get in here. I mean, France, that's a natural ally for me, I think. I mean, Poland, do you have the... the? Yeah, you do. Sure. You got the, you got the union. You're my friend. All right, now the big one. What would happen... <laughs> Tenegros expansion to take out all of Naples. You know what? That sounds good to me. Get it done. Nice. Not quite 100% of it over extensions. We're fine. Let's just sit tidy for a while because um, that's giving us... Oh no, minus two diplomatic reputation. I think they still like me. Meanwhile in Bangkok. <laughs> just some Tuscan Catholics just chilling there. They don't know why, but they are a crucial part of this just because of this one thing that gives us minus 10% aggressive expansion. A golden era, you say? I like the sound of that. I will conquest. Obviously, I can call in the Ottomans. <laughs> Let's do it. Why not? Why not? Saxon, you want to come back in? You want to come round two? Let's do this, dude. Okay, I'm going to keep that in just to show how much of a mess I made of that initial thing. I could have got two stack wipes and instead I got neither. God bless. You just always go after Saxony. Jesus Christ. We've got 4,000 men. They're like, no, this this four province minor. They need to go. All right, Big Chungus, get in there. Defend our land. Oh, no, look at that. I'll give you four aggressive expansion if I took Manchua whilst they're not a co-belligerent. All of that for just uh, the low, low price of 11 aggressive expansion. Wait, hang on. I can I can do something. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? That number doesn't mean that. It's time to raise things. I wonder. If I were to break a truce. <laughs> There's just no aggressive expansion downside to breaking a truce. Because of all that. Jesus. And the big one. Eight aggressive expansion for the entirety of Milan. Excellent. Alright, so some guys are holding uh, territory that belongs to the HRE. So, why don't we go and collect that? <laughs> let's go! Let's rain in the Italians. L lads, let's rain in the Italians. Okay? There's only like a couple of Italians left, so uh, let's uh, abandon this thing. Let, let them win the war against Hungary, against Burgundy, and I'll, I'll focus on this. Waiting for them to finish up against Burgundy. They've just taken ages because of all the sieges. <laughs> right. I have until 1490, so 30 years to reign in as many Italian nations as possible. Okay. Um, that include the Pope, because he's sort of a buddy of mine. <laughs> that means to just keep on heading east into Poland. I suppose you would if your homeland looked like this. I'm just shocked it's taking the combined might of most of Europe. At the same time it's taken me to fight the Italian wars on my own. That's in record time, there's that dealt with. All right, I need to raise all these provinces because my overextension is huge. I know this is annoying you guys. Because uh, I could be doing things with this power, but watch, I'm, gonna, I'm at max capacity. Oh, I'm raising. Someone stop me. <laughs> Most of you guys aren't going to care, but there's always going to be that one dude who's like, I can't believe he's done this. I hate everything about you. You are you are scum. Now, I know I said that I wasn't going to take a military idea, but you have no idea how annoying it is, the amount of time these sieges take. All right, so these nations are part of the HRE, and uh, I'm going <laughs> to, in one war, I'm going to get them to release three nations and end, the, end their overlordship over three as well. Uh, it gives me one aggressive expansion because I'm taking a province. And it gives them minus 94 prestige. 94. I mean, I'm just going to sit here and, uh, and chill for a little while, but um, get them, lads. There you go. And I'll fight the one against Provence on my own. Where are my troops? Oh, they're over here. Now, the reason I'm trying to push so hard for this next reform is that there is a bug. I know, a sh it's shocking, a bug in a paradise game. Um, there's a bug that, um, uh, maybe not a bug, but I think it's, it's probably classed as a bug. Essentially, it costs way too much aggressive expansion to um, force someone into HRE. So I want to see if, even with my overpowered ideas, can Paradox nullify me like that? It'd be quite funny. Oh, my diplomatic reputation advisor. Now I only have like 60. <laughs> Which diplomatic reputation do I have? Like 10. Christ. 
At least Norway. It did nothing wrong. Alright, is there anyone else holding Imperial territory? One province. Alright, let's just sit here and we'll just gun until we can get this. Run to a military access. Why? Who are you all with? I don't mean to. Like, the game's going fast, man. Don't 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 have a go at me for that. Why are you upset at me? Allied to your rival. Oh, I'm allied to half of Europe, man. You're not special. I still had a single rebel. <laughs> oh, that's good. Well, I've got Italy now. I was hoping for an event. Wait, no, it's a decision now, isn't it? Yeah. Data Kingdom. There you go. Day 25. Oh, I can do a reform. Nice. So that gives me a spell eye on bordering nations, right? Man Empire on Holstein, Bosnia, Hungary, Poland, Burgundy, Nevis, Provence, Venice, Flanders, and Herzegovina. Hungary? Let's do Bosnia first then. Poland? Oh, well, Poland won't come in, so. Span Empire. Let's uh, do that. And we'll just bring in the Ottomans. They can, they can deal with that. Go on. Go on, Ottomans. Expand Empire. Yeah, zero gross expansion. Okay. Nice, so now you're in the HRE. Good job. Come on. Right, call the Ottomans in. Their war on these guys. I mean, I have the stability. There you go. Look at that. I have contact. It's going to give me, me, 45 aggressive expansion. 45. If you think about, if I didn't have all of these ideas, how ridiculous is that? But I do have these ideas, so. They're now part of the empire, and, uh, they get quite for penning. <laughs> Protection from the cringe. Right, so it's taking a significant toll on my nation. Um, I'm, I'm almost broken, and I've broken many truces. Uh, but this is what the HRE looks like. Um, yeah. Uh, so in doing all that, I'm... <laughs> I managed to have peace internally. So essentially, I'd sort of race through these reforms and uh, get the vassal swarm. People did start to get upset at me. You know, Poland, Lithuania. You know, they got a little bit upset. Um, I did lose my alliances with France because uh, I wanted to attack them. Uh, but I didn't have the Casabelli. Mostly the Ottomans carrying me through. So, big shout out to the Turks. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that has been uh, the Chungus Horde. So, my god, guy, please stop recommending it. Oh my god, I've done it. Let me know what else you want to see in the comments down below. And uh, I'll see you next time.